Have you ever come across a soil secret so effective it was outlawed? Not for failing, but for succeeding beyond measure. Back in the 1850s, farmers in Europe and the United States stumbled upon a technique that transformed lifeless dirt into thriving earth practically overnight. Crops that barely survived suddenly yielded double, even triple, their normal output. For families living harvest to harvest, this was a godsend. Yet, this method was soon prohibited, labeled hazardous, unclean, and obsolete. Not because it was ineffective, but because it was too powerful. It challenged the rise of industrial farming and synthetic fertilizers. Here's the revelation. The core ideas behind this forbidden practice remain sound today. With modern safety and science, gardeners are reviving it, often outperforming traditional compost. If you've ever wrestled with hard-packed clay or waited endlessly for compost to mature, keep reading. Soon you'll learn how to safely adapt this one-spanned approach in your own yard and why it can still outshine compost. A glimpse back into history. Picture the 19th century, booming populations, swelling cities, and shrinking fertile land. Farmers were desperate for an affordable, dependable way to revive exhausted soil. Their answer? Something startlingly simple. Human waste, known as night soil. This wasn't a new idea. For millennia, farmers in China, Korea, and Japan had collected, aged, and applied human manure to fields. Nothing was wasted. What exited the body returned to the earth, sustaining crops season after season. In fact, its closed-loop system is credited with maintaining China's soil fertility for thousands of years without chemicals. In Japan's Edo era, human waste was so prized, it was bought and sold. Wealthy urban households traded their output to rural merchants, and farmers vied for the best sources. In Europe, the practice evolved differently. As cities like London overflowed, night soil men worked after dark, emptying chamber pots and cesspits, then carting the contents to nearby farms. Spread on fields, it turned barren plots into bountiful ones. Grain grew taller, vegetables plumper, yields staggering. To struggling farmers, it wasn't just fertilizer, it was survival. But not everyone cheered. Trouble was brewing. Why it was outlawed. The ban had little to do with farming and everything to do with cities. By the mid-1800s, urban areas were sanitation nightmares. Overflowing cesspools, polluted rivers, wells, and drinking water. Cholera, typhoid, and dysentery killed thousands public health became a crisis. Though farmers saw night soil as a benefit, city officials saw a public health menace, waste that enriched fields now endangered lives. Governments acted swiftly. New sewer systems flushed waste into rivers and seas instead of recycling it. At the same time, chemical fertilizers emerged first from Chilean nitrates, then via the Haber-Bosch process, which mass-produced synthetic nitrogen. Fertilizer companies marketed aggressively. Why deal with mess and risk when you can buy clean, consistent product in a bag? Farmers shifted. Not because night soil failed, but because society, policy, and profit pushed them away. By the early 1900s, a centuries-old practice vanished from Western agriculture. Yet its power was undeniable. Why it worked so well. Consider urine alone, fresh and properly managed contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and forms plants absorb instantly, comparable to many store-bought fertilizers. Farmers called it liquid gold for good reason. Compost. Excellent for structure, moisture, and long-term microbial health. But it's slow. It takes months to mature, and nutrients are released gradually. Night soil and diluted urine delivered an immediate concentrated boost. Historical records show crops grew faster and stronger. In Asia, where the practice continued, soil stayed fertile across generations. In the West, abandoning it often led to short-lived booms followed by soil collapse under chemical dependency. Modern studies confirm urine-based fertilizers match or beat synthetics on greens, corn, and brassica, especially when paired with compost for balanced, sustained growth. Safe, modern revival. No one is advocating a return to buckets and chamber pots. It's unsafe and unnecessary. But the principle, recycling nutrients, 
lives on. Diluted Urine Fertilizer Fresh urine is sterile. Mix one part of urine with 10 parts water, one part for 20, for seedlings or pots. Apply to soil around hungry plants like tomatoes, squash, or corn. Rotate spots to avoid buildup. Humanure and composting toilets. Compost human waste for at least a year at high heat to eliminate pathogens. The result? Nutrient-rich, safe humus used by off-grid farms and eco-communities worldwide? Large-scale models. Programs like Vermont's Rich Earth Institute collects, sanitizes, and redistributes urine to farms, boosting yields, cutting costs, and reducing chemical use. Pair quick-release urine with slow-build compost. This helps fast growth and lasting soil health. Easy tips for older gardeners. You don't need strength, gear, or expense, just a watering can and common sense. Start small, try one bed or a few pots. Always dilute to 110 for most plants, 124 seedlings. Rotate and move applications weekly. Layer with mulch. Pour over straw or leaves to lock in nutrients. Apply in cool hours. Morning or evening for plants and comfort. Stay safe. Wear gloves, respect heat and time. Follow guidelines if using human ear. Light on the back, big on results. The deeper truth. This isn't just about fertilizer, it's about cycles. Nature wastes nothing. Every leaf, raindrop, and bit of life fuels the next. Industrial farming broke that loop, flushing nutrients away and replacing them with mined chemicals. But in your garden, you can restore it with compost, cover crops, mulch, and yes, even a watering can of diluted urine. You're not just growing food, you're closing a circle that sustained civilizations for millennia. The 1800s farmers were banned from this wisdom, were free to reclaim it safely, smartly, sustainably. So if this stirred something in you, pass it on. And if you love rediscovering old truths for modern gardens, stay tuned. The soil is alive. With care, it will feed us and the future. For generations, thanks for watching. If you like gardening and homestead tricks, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us grow.